So now that we got our environment set up, it's time to get started coding out our project. And what I want you guys to do is first of all, go to the fast API documentation. This is really important. What I want you guys to do is really get a solid understanding of how the documentation works. So pull up the fast API website and then head on over to the tutorial section and then select the intro part. So this is going to walk us through setting up our project. And what we will need to do is first of all, we need to install the fast API package. Uh, and so what we can do is we can either do pip install fast API, or we can do pip install uh, fast API all. When we do fa uh, pip install fast API all, it's going to install all of the optional dependencies as well, which we may or may not need depending on what features we want. We're going to go ahead and use the all option because we're going to use a lot of them and there's no point in having to go one by one and install them. So that's what we're going to do. So here uh, in our command line and make sure that we are in our virtual environment and then just type in pip install fast API and then we'll pass in all and we'll let that run. Now it's moving fairly fast, um, but if you kind of scroll through the history, you'll notice a lot of packages and a lot of dependencies that are getting installed. So we'll take a look at those once it's done just to see what are the different dependencies that were installed. And so now that that's done, if we type in pip freeze, this is going to show all of the packages that were installed. So it's not going to be just fast API. It's going to include a lot of the optional dependencies as well. So if we take a look, um, you can see that we've got uh, GraphQL installed if we want to use any GraphQL. Uh, we have bcrypt, uvcoin, that's going to be like our web server, what, websockets, if we want to work with websockets. So it already comes bundled with a lot of things that we're going to use. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood what's happening when we pass in the, that all flag. And if you want to, if you open up your virtual environment folder and you go under lib, you'll see all of the... Uh, the code associated with those packages that we installed. So that's where all of them are going to reside. They're all going to reside within the lib folder. All right. So now that we've got uh, fast API installed, the first thing that we have to do is we have to import fast API and to import fast API, we just say from fast API, which is the name of the library. We import fast API. All right. So we've now successfully imported fast API. Let's create an instance of fast API. So we'll say app equals fast API. And then we'll call that function. Uh, keep in mind, you can name this anything you want. But if you take a look at the documentation, and just follow along, uh, you, you can see that it's going to name an app. So I think it's best if we just kind of follow along with that convention, then what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this code right here. So this is going to be what's referred to as a path operation. And we'll go over what that means in a bit. And we'll just paste this here. I want you to save your code. You'll see if you get this uh, warning or this message saying format or auto pep eight is not installed, go ahead and hit yes. Uh, and so this is nice because it'll automatically format our code. So if we ever put too many spaces or things like that, you'll see that as soon as you save it, it's going to snap into place and make everything look nice and pretty. So let's save this. And so once we've got our code, let's actually start our web server up. So how do we actually start our web server? Well, once again, let's go to our documentation. Uh, so we're going to make use of the UV corn library. So because we installed a uh, fast API with the all flag, um, it automatically installed UV coin. If you didn't use the all flag, then you'll have to do pip install UV coin as well, but we already got it installed. And so let's go back here and let's run our API. So we do UV corn. Then what we have to do is we have to uh, reference the name of our file. So this is their entry point into our application, which is our main file. So here we're going to say main. Keep in mind if this file was named anything else, you don't have to name it na main. You can name it anything else. You would just want to pass the name of whatever the file name is. Then you do colon. Then you pass in the name of your fast API instance. So we named it app. And so we'll do app. And then we'll start that. All right. And so this is saying that we started our server. Perfect. And we could see the URL that our server is running on. So it's going to say HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1. So if you guys don't know what that address is, that means um, it's this machine. So whatever IP address this machine runs on, that's what this is going to be. Uh, so it's just saying, hey, we want to refer to the local host and it's going to run on port 8000. So if you want to, you could just copy this URL, go to your web browser, paste it in here and then see what happens. And then look at this. I'm going to zoom in for you. It says message. Hello world. And that's coming from our code. Right. And that's coming from this return statement right here. Uh, so that so this kind of verifies that everything worked perfectly. All right, so now that we've got everything up and running and working, and you can see that when we go to our website, uh, we can see that we are properly getting back our message. 
Uh, let's pause this video and in the next video, we'll take a look at exactly what each line of this code actually means.